gang. Good morning, or good afternoon again. It's just gone 12 o'clock. I am on site with Duna, the original, and this property I am on site with today just so happens to be one of the sites where we have had a dispute with the contractor. Now I use the word dispute very lightly because there was no dispute on our end. The contractor just decided he didn't want to finish the job. We've had a quantity surveying, we've filmed the whole premises, we've left it in the exact state it was left in and we've documented it over a number of days to show it hasn't changed. So now is my time to walk around this property with you and show you where we're at. So we're in the, the living room and we have part electrics done, we have new windows fitted in the property, we have the steels which have gone in we have the door frames in, we have an actual internal door downstairs there and if you look here, we have no stairs. Now come through here, this is a downstairs bedroom which is here with what was supposed to be an ensuite. Um, all the plumbing's done, we hope. We've got to get somebody in to check the central heating and the plumbing. We walk through here we have a utility room down there, plumbing's done. We have this part of the, the back room which is going to be like a dining room. And then we have the kitchen. Now, the contractor since November was telling me that there was a skylight in the lockup that he owned and there was going to fit the skylight for me. We're obviously now in February. You can see there's no skylights, but what's actually happened is it's leaked into my extension. They put some stuff here to stop the leaks and then when they decided that they wasn't going to continue the works they came and collected their tools and the keys to my property as in all of this they threw them in the bin that was full to the brim of water um, yeah it's getting me very angry actually it's, it's, actually, it's actually winding me up um, and I have to be very careful what I say but that's, that's, a, that's a low, it's a bad move that's a very bad move to make against somebody like me because I don't forget things, don't like it, it upsets me um, but we move and we keep it moving so as you can see we have a bit of a flood you can see from the floor um, But again, I have a skylight coming next week, which is going to be fitted, or a lantern coming next week, which is being fitted. Um, yeah, it's upsetting. It's got me. I haven't been here. This is the first time I've been here. Um, I have a very, very, very good team coming in here next week to finish it for me. And I had to wait to get all my ducks in order. I had to wait to get all my documentation in order. And yeah, so that's what's going on here. If we go upstairs, I'll show you upstairs um, and I'll tell you what needs to be finished upstairs. Obviously now we need the kitchen as well. There's a, there's a bit of damp on the, on the extension as well, which needs to be looked at. That's because no one's been here for two months and there's no, there's no circulation of air flowing here either. So let's go upstairs. Ooh. Oh. Walking up, it was easy then. We're upstairs, um, three bedrooms upstairs, one bedroom downstairs, two on suites in the master bathroom. Upstairs was kind of finished. We've got all the skirting on, we've got all the architraves on, we have um, Miss Cole on, we have all of the internal doors are here. Bathroom needs sorting, but they've not plastered up here. Rung boards to tile on, so it needs plastering. Door frames are in. If we go into another bedroom, again, we have doors internally, architrave skirting on, en suites here guys, if you have a look in there, the tray's in, plumbing's done, again, plaster needs to be plastered in there, I mean, the walls need plastering because it's the wrong boards to put the, um, the tiles onto, electrics, central heating, across the landing, into another bedroom which has a walk-in wardrobe there 
Um, bedroom here, ensuite at the back, have all the doors in here which is, which is good. Um, the people who are coming in to finish the job want to chase all the walls out because they want to make sure that the electrics have been done correctly. Same with the plumbing. Um, I have a boiler coming this week, I have the stairs ordered, just waiting for them to be, to be uh, bought on site to fit. Front garden, I have to clear all that rubbish up, I've already cleared a load of rubbish up out there. So that's got to be sorted out more. Gardeners are coming in as well um, shortly. Hopefully we can get this one turned around in the next 28 days and just get it finished. And yeah, so that's what's happened here. Now, the outcome. What is the outcome? How do we resolve it? So I have a quantity about who's given me the cost of works to finish the job. I know what was left payments to the original contractor. Doesn't even come close. It's not even in the same field. Like it's so outrageously gone, it's nuts. But again, professionals do their jobs. Um, the outcome is, no, there's no outcome. Because even if I win, I lose, um, which I don't like saying. You know I don't like losing because it's a business and yeah, it is what it is. We smile, we keep moving forwards. Um, the good thing about it, I don't lose any money. That's a good thing. I just don't make as much profit as I wanted to make originally. So if it was costing me, it would probably hurt me even more. But the fact that I'm just not making as much profit as I was going to make, Hey ho, you win some, you lose some, but at least you find out about the people that you have in your circle. Um, unfortunately for me, a number of people are no longer in my circle and it's very easy to figure things out. Let's see where those people are in 12 months, see where we are in 12 months and that's the best way to figure out that who was in the right and who was in the wrong and how you progress correct, um, correctly. But yeah, still an unbelievable house though, oh my God. It's beautiful, um, and it will be beautiful when it's finished. Two magpies out the window, one for sorrow, two for joy, so everything works out amazingly well in the end. I'm just off to meet a property circle member called Sonny, who wants me to source him a property. He has X amount of money to invest. He's at work, he owns his own business, so I've offered to drive down to Sandwell and meet him for a coffee, go through his criteria, and then we'll get the property sourced for him. Um, Dee's gonna shoot back to the office because he's gonna edit the daily. I'm gonna meet Dee back at the office where the guys have got me a gift apparently that I've had to pay for. So we'll see what those are. Um, but yeah, onwards and upwards, positive day. It's going to be awesome. 29th of February, which basically means I get an extra day to see what I can do to add value to people's lives. in my office and I'm cold. It's boiling. These like look at look at him. He's red. It's boiling, it's not cold. I am cold though. <laughs> my hands are cold, my feet are cold. So I'm just gonna sit here in my in my igloo jacket and I'm gonna just just get myself warm and then I'm going to continue with doing what I've been doing today, which is smashing it. That's what I've been doing. I've had a great day so far. Auction, online seminar, webinar, live, Zoom, Sunday, eight o'clock. Oh wow, that's a great little segue. That was good, that was. That was really good. I'm impressed. We've got over a hundred people already. Guys, sign up below. Phil usually says it to you, or you does that, but today it's Duna. How are you going to do it, Duna? Just make them sign up below. Uh, but yeah, the, the link is in the description below for you to attend that for completely free. 
I will be giving out some very, very, very cool information about auctions that you probably don't know. Um, so yeah, let me just get warm and then I'll get back to work. How have you been, Adam? Um, out of five, I just need numbers. Oh, out of five. Um, just in case Dan's watching, he'll want to know. I've been probably about a 2.8. We'll round it up to three. We'll put it to three stars, yeah. Okay, just for good. him. But he'll know later anyway. That's good. And you? Five out of five, as always. There you go. So, oh, it feels like it's it's feel warmer now. I've got a hot chocolate. And I've just had Dan on the phone. We've got a couple of issues up north which he, he's resolving. Um, Dan the man. He's just on the ball, isn't he? He is. He's just on the ball. We are now going down to pick me up something that I have been wanting for how long would you say, roughly? A month. Four or five weeks. A month? Yeah. And they're finally here. We're going to pick them up. We're going to see if they are as good as everybody says they are. Wait till the next scene to see what they are, guys. I'm excited. I am actually really excited for these because I think for Hamilton University and Property Circle members, these will ha add a whole new dimension to education, in my opinion, and I'll explain why when I get them. Excited. Been waiting for these for a very long time. Number one eighty zero. Thank you very thank much. You. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um, that needs to go into. Uh, thank you. We have them. Meta Ray-Bans. Got a funny feeling like that when I get back because I let Adam order them. We've got like some green ones. We've caramel lenses or something instead of the black ones with the white lenses that turn black when you're outside in the sun we are doing so i went to open it but they told me to do an unveiling back at the office so i thought i was cool doing that here. wow that's nice so is that is that all like i don't know it'd be really cool if you had like you know a magnet but it doesn't but that is a really cool Unboxing. That's pretty cool. You charge the case. Yeah, there's a charger. Are the chargers in here? Do you get chargers? These are big, thick glasses. Oh my god. Um, do I look more sophisticated than I already do? <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I can't see myself, can I? So I don't so know. Can you, is it just normal glass now? <laughs> yeah, I can just... Steve, we got the mirror there. I'm, it's not a fashion accessory, big man. <laughs> It's education purposes. Um, oh wow, it all comes up as like a computer screen on the things. That's gotcha. it. No? <laughs> <laughs> the glasses? It's like Elon Musk. <laughs> what the hell? Um, I don't think the charge. Yeah. Here he comes. He had to come. He knew how long I've been asking for these glasses and we can't get them working, do we? How sick, how sick do you look in them? So how sick do you look in them? Give it the barrier. Nice. Kingsman? Yes. Kingsman? <laughs> 4K. Yeah, nice. Um, glasses are waiting to connect. We've got four minutes remaining. Got to keep the app open. Can you make sure this app stays open, please? Um, don't let it pay down because you have to start it all again. Masterclass, online. 125 people. Um, cool. Someone come in the mighty then. So here you go, guys. So this is my app. Live and direct, a member of the circle has just asked what? So you said, when you're looking for properties to break down, do you stay away from properties that are listed at auction? And Okay, that I might answer that with a video. And it links in nicely with Sunday. Yeah, I might answer that with a video. Um, oh yeah, auctions. Guys, this is what my team have done. Do you know, I didn't know I could do this on my TV. I had no idea that I could press this mind map here and I can create all of these things and I can write in there, and then it spells, even though it says Joe, and then it changes it, but that wasn't what it was. Then I can delete it all, and we can create all this kind of stuff on my, um, on my TV. Remember I said how amazing this TV was? So, next month I've got West Bromwich Albion, TPC tour. Guys, if you want to come on a tour of my developments, tickets are available now. £99, best form of education, apart from the university. 19th, I'm in Manchester. On the 24th, I have a deal sourcing day at Eastside Rooms. I'm in Milton Keynes on the 25th. I have a site visit on the 27th with my university. And then going into April, 
Albion, Liverpool, another webinar, site visit, TPC tour, Watford. This is just what's booked in. This isn't even the stuff that I'm about to add in when I just come up with it. So yeah, every single thing is listed below. Everything is on my website. We are growing massively. Um, two new joint venture opportunities were sent out yesterday. Both are fully booked, done, finished. No more spaces on them. Going to view another property tomorrow. Hopefully I can put another one up there. We are growing at a pace that is incredible. My team are doing great things. Everybody seems happy. Let's just keep smiling. Let's keep, in, let's keep the positivity going. Should we quickly do a FaceTime to Dan? Yeah. Because he's on site. Um, you know what? Tomorrow's gonna be a really good daily for you guys, actually. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out and show you all the, all the finished projects. That'd be pretty cool. And I'll show you some of the new ones and break them down for you. That'll be cool as well. Adam, Kevin, can you please put that into promotion? I think he's allowed to be talked about now a little bit, yeah? yeah. I think he'll be making his big appearance in the next um, in the next 18 months. I'm looking around the room to see what's going on. I've got something else as well, actually. Let's give away another iWatch. Let's do another giveaway. I don't know what to say to do a giveaway. Ending the daily with a giveaway. Duna, ending the daily with a giveaway. Oh, I watch. Um, we don't get no, like, that's just meta getting publicity. True, true. Anything? Duna says, comment below and he will give you his iWatch that he has proudly worn and it's been through some very, very, very cool experiences and he gets the new one. So if you think that we should swap Duna's watch for this one and give Duna's away, comment below, let us know. Um, if that giveaway don't really work, we'll figure something out tomorrow.